Okay, question nine. The graph of a line in the xy plane has a slope of two and contains the point one eight. This is the point and the graph of a second line. So we've got two lines here passes through the point. So we've got the points of the second line here. And now we're being told that there's two lines intersect at the one point. So uh, intersection point means it satisfies both lines conditions. And that one is given as A and B. So we had to find the coordinates of that intersection point. And then we need to take the total of this intersection points coordinates. Okay, so basically um, to do that, we need to find the equation of two lines and then we need to equalize them. And then you know and that should give us the value of intersection point. How are we gonna do that? So first of all, we should know the equation of lines. So the general formula uh, is written like that. So key here is slope. It shows the degree of angle in lines. Uh, X is the X, X axis coordinate and Y is Y axis coordinate. C is a constant number, so it can be a proper number. So now we're gonna apply this equation into the first line. So we have been given, so the slope. So the first line, I'm gonna write it here. And then maybe we can write the second line equation here, okay? First line, so we're gonna apply the general equation formula. Y is equal to eight in our example, because I'm just you know using the point that I given here, eight. Okay, equal uh, slope, slope equals to uh, two. Uh, two is the slope here. So now we're gonna get two, uh, X is number one. So here, number one plus, constant okay so that means it equals to two plus c and then here c equals to six okay now now we can easily get the equation of our first line that equals to y slope is two x plus constant is six okay guys so now we can just highlight it here that's the first line and a second line. So we're going to start working with the second line. Second line, uh, as you can see here, it's a little bit, you know, it, it needs to work. We have got the two points are given. So by using these two points, we can find the slope and the constant of the second equation. So let's start. So we've been given this one, y, k, x, plus c. So the first one, we're going to use the, you know, first point. So it would be two, k, uh, x is one plus c, all right? Now we're going to use the second point to get the equation. It's going to be now y is one here. Coordinate of x axis is two. So like k two plus c. All right, guys, so we've got here two equations that these two equations, because they are the equation of two points, they satisfy the same line conditions. Now we can you know, make some adjustments to find the constant and k from each other. So from the first equation here, I can find um, c, okay? c, I can write like two equals k plus c, and that means c equals two minus k, right? Now I'm going to apply this equation into here. In place of C, I'm going to use two minus key. So like here, one equals to two K plus in place of C, I'm using two minus key. So that equals to, um, so when I'm one equals two, two key minus key, it equals to K plus two. So from here, we can find the value of K, right? K equals to minus one. Now we've got this value and we can apply this value into here to find the constant. So here C equals to two minus in place of K, we're gonna use minus one. And that gives us a uh, constant is three. Okay, so we've got constant here as well. So now the equation of second line, second line equals to y, k slope is minus one. So minus one x 
plus constant is three. Okay, now so we found the second equation for our second line, so we can just keep it like that. Uh, so now, because they're intersecting, right, they're joining together, uh, we can find the intersection point by equalizing them to each other. So here, I'm going to write here again, y equals minus x plus 3. So here, we can equalize them. That means 2x plus 6 equals 2 minus x plus 3. So that means um, if I'm going to, you know, transfer minus x to the other side of the equation, it's going to be 3x equals, and then 6 goes to the other side as minus 6. So 3 minus 6. So 3x equals to minus 3. That means x equals to minus 1. So what we're doing here, uh, this is the, you know, x coordinate of the intersection point. So that is important for us. This one equals to a in the question. Now we're going to apply the value of x into one of the equation, maybe here or maybe here. It doesn't matter because it gives the same value, guys. So let's do uh, this one. This is simpler. So here y equals to minus, uh, our x is equal to minus 1, and then plus 3. That means y equals to 4. So now we, we found the coordinates. So the y is equals to b in our question. So uh, let me write it here. Okay, guys. So a equals to minus one because this is the x coordinate, and b equals to four. Now, if we're going to find the total of them, minus one plus four, that equals three. So that's our answer. You can find in choice B.